Presidential Election Petition Tribunal has dismissed the application filed by the People's Democratic Party and the Labour Party seeking to televise the day-to-day -day proceedings of the court. In a unanimous ruling, the court held that not televising the proceedings does not amount to a lack of fair hearing on the part of the petitioners. Judiciary correspondent Celestine Area has more. Delivering the lead ruling, Chairman of the Panel Justice Haruna Samani held that the order sought by the petitioner is outside the scope of the petition. He also made the following clarifications. Televising of proceedings is not provided for in any law. The court is created by the Constitution and operates under the law by the Court of Appeal. The court was created to hear and determine the petitions before it and cannot act as a vanguard. It is a policy and administration matter that can only be determined by the judiciary. The undue pressure of allowing cameras into the courtroom should be avoided as the impact it will have on witnesses cannot be predicted. The court is created to find out the truth and should be allowed to do so. Our application, i.e. the live streaming and open telecast, is not in any way connected with the merits of our petition. The petition is separate, it's ongoing. The application did not succeed to have the televised version of the proceedings relate to the entire world. As proceedings continued, the president-elect and the All Progressives Congress opposed the consolidation of the petitions filed by political parties and their presidential candidates. Counsel to both parties noted that justice would not be served on the petition. Although Section 50 of the Electoral Act allows for consolidation, however, when the exercise of power is subject to a limitation, it cannot be said to be mandatory. Both councils agreed that some issues will be lost in the case and the respondent will not be allowed to pass his case. The interest of justice cannot be sacrificed on the altar of convenience as the APC and the president-elect will be prejudiced if the court grants the order. These submissions were in response to the PDP and Allied People's Movement Agreement for consolidation of the petitions. The court also dismissed an application by the Labour Party seeking same reliefs as part of the PDP, asking for the court to grant an order of life proceedings of the court to be televised live. The Labour Party anchored the application on the fact that during the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, various courts in the country televised proceedings live. This submission by the Labour Party, the court did not agree with, stating that during the COVID-19 outbreak, it was a policy decision by the National Judicial Council, and it was not live televising, but virtual proceedings. Well, they've given their reasons. The court says it's a policy matter. We are not part of the policy-making apparatus of the court, or any court for that matter. We are a council, and our duty is to bring whatever request we have to the court. If they agree, we say as the court pleases. On the modalities of her trial and her petition will commence, counsel to Labour Party told the court that documents they have sought to get from IMEC has not been given to them and they have not had the opportunity to inspect the beavers. Counsel to INEC says that documents seek by Labour Party is ready and also information that the Labour Party wants to get from the beavers was stored at the back end server and the report has been presented to the party. The court had on the 23rd May to present its pre-hearing report, which will also contain its position on consolidation of the petitions. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.